July 1, 2025. A new interstellar object was logged by astronomers as just another harmless intruder, racing into our solar system at 68 kilometers per second. They called it 3i Atlas, even joked about its visit online. Then the numbers started slipping. Standard models collapsed. Instead of a predictable comet, 3i Atlas broke the laws of motion, its brightness flickering in ways no natural object should. Behind closed doors, scientists confessed to a miscalculation so profound it could shatter our assumptions about gravity itself. Is this a cosmic accident or something acting with intent? What the experts discovered next could threaten much more than our pride. The first official alert from the Atlas Consortium arrived just after sunrise in Hawaii. Their automated telescopes had caught a streak of light on July 1, 2025, an object moving too fast, too direct, to belong to anything local. Within hours, orbital calculations placed it on a sharply hyperbolic path, the kind that only a true interstellar visitor could trace. The numbers were clear. 3i Atlas was racing in at 68 kilometers per second, more than twice the speed of most comets. Astronomers issued statements with an almost casual confidence. They compared it to Oumuamua and Borisov, the only other guests from beyond the sun's reach. This one, they assured the public, was no threat. Its closest approach would be over 160 million miles from Earth, farther than Mars at opposition. Newsrooms picked up the story, calling it a cosmic tourist. Social media gave it a nickname, 3i Atlas, riffing on its official catalog name and the viral meme of a watchful stranger passing by. The early data painted a picture of routine strangeness. Spectra hinted at a blend of icy grains and dark, carbon-rich dust, not unlike the leftovers from the solar system's own frozen outskirts. The orbit's math was so clean that even the minor planet center called for more observations only out of habit. For a moment, the world watched an interstellar traveler glide through the solar system, remarkable but harmless, and soon to be forgotten. Late July brought the first sign that something was wrong. Observatories feeding data into the global network started to notice a pattern, one that didn't fit any comet or asteroid on record. The light curve, which should have followed a smooth rise and fall as 3i Atlas neared the sun, instead broke into stuttering flashes. Peaks doubled back on themselves in minutes, not hours. Amateur astronomers from the AstroTrack group logged over 200,000 brightness readings in a single week, and their spreadsheets filled with numbers that refused to settle. Some called it a glitch. Others blamed instrument error. But then, the professional team saw the same impossible flickers with their own telescopes. Inside the Atlas control room, Dr. Judy Kim kept running the orbital model, hoping for a clean fit. Each time she pressed calculate, the software threw up a wall of red, Residuals, the differences between predicted and observed positions, were exploding. By July 22nd, the numbers had gone from noise to chaos. The object's path, once a perfect hyperbola, now twisted out of every simulation. Kim's log at 0142 UTC reads, We're running the fit again, but the residuals are exploding. That's not possible. These orbits shouldn't drift this much especially for interstellar bodies, unless we're missing something fundamental. By the end of the month, international teams abandoned their predictions. The Minor Planet Center's daily bulletins dropped the usual confidence intervals and replaced them with question marks. For the first time, astronomers admitted the math had failed. The object's motion was no longer just unpredictable. It was unexplainable. The search for answers would have to move beyond numbers and into the realm of forensic science. The first high-resolution spectra arrived in late July, piped in from the Keck Observatory, and quickly cross-checked against archives from Gemini South. Astronomers expected the usual suspects, maybe a faint trace of sodium, a dash of cyanide, and, if lucky, the twin signatures of nickel and iron that had shown up in every comet with modern instrumentation. Instead, 
the data delivered something no one had seen before. The spectral lines for nickel stood out, sharp and unmistakable, with a signal-to-noise ratio above 10. But the iron lines were silent, absent even in the deepest exposures, where they should have been at least as strong as the nickel. Teams at the James Webb Space Telescope and the Very Large Telescope ran their own checks, each confirming the same pattern. Every instrument, every reduction pipeline, every calibration against solar analogs came back with the same result. Nickel without iron. In comet science, that's like finding a piano with every key but the sharps. For decades, both elements had always appeared together, their emissions rising in lockstep across comets from the solar system and even Borisov, the last interstellar visitor. The standard chemistry, tested on 20 comets and backed by laboratory physics, said it shouldn't be possible. The absence of iron wasn't the only oddity. Imaging in the near-infrared and thermal bands showed a coma weak in dust, with no sign of outgassing jets or volatile plumes. If 3i Atlas was shedding material, it was doing so invisibly. The usual explanations, hidden jets, instrument error, or a rare viewing angle, collapsed under the weight of multi-observatory agreement. The only thing left was the data itself, a comet that broke the rules, flaunting a nickel signature where iron should have marched beside it, and leaving theorists with nothing but questions. Peer-reviewed journals filled up with drafts that read more like manifestos than research. Some teams clung to the old playbook, insisting that a hidden outgassing jet, too faint for even the Webb telescope, must be pushing 3i Atlas off course. Others reach for the edges of physics, sketching out models with dark matter filaments or hypothetical quantum fields. But each new theory only seemed to draw a sharper line in the sand, splitting the community into camps that barely spoke the same scientific language. In closed-door teleconferences, the tone shifted from curiosity to something closer to alarm. The International Astronomical Union circulated a classified memo warning that the object's trajectory had decoupled from gravity-based predictions. NASA's Deep Space Network rerouted assets, and the European Space Agency quietly moved to restrict high-resolution tracking data. Security officials, usually silent in such matters, joined the calls, demanding to know if the object's unpredictable path could pose a risk to orbital infrastructure or planetary defense. Dr. Elaine Khoury, an astrophysicist known for her skepticism, found herself at the center of the storm. In a now-leaked briefing, she summed up the mood. The math failed. That doesn't happen. Khoury refused to endorse the more radical claims, but she couldn't ignore the numbers. Every attempt to fit the orbit ended in the same place, an object moving in ways that no known force could explain. By late August, the debate had hardened into two camps. One side argued for new physics, proposing everything from untested fifth forces to relics of cosmic string theory. The other, smaller but louder, began to treat the anomalies as signs of intent, a possibility that 3i Atlas was not just a comet, but a machine. Theories once whispered in back channels now appeared in official minutes and the question of intent became too large to brush aside. For the first time, the astronomical community faced the possibility that the universe might not be playing by its own rules. Every planetary defense plan on the books relies on one assumption. Gravity controls the universe. When an object appears, its path is mapped, and models predict where it will be next, down to the hour. That's how warning systems buy time to deflect asteroids or evacuate satellites. But 3i Atlas broke that contract. With each failed calculation, the lead time for any response shrank from months to days, then vanished entirely. The usual playbook, early detection, trajectory mapping, mitigation, became useless. If an object can simply ignore gravity, then every satellite, station, and city beneath the sky is left unprotected, with nowhere to hide. If 3i Atlas moves again, on its own terms, not ours, 
then every plan built on certainty unravels. The last time astronomers faced a puzzle like this, with Oumuamua, they found explanations in outgassing and odd shapes. This time, there's no fallback. The numbers refuse to line up, the models collapse, and the sky holds its secrets. If intent is guiding that object, the universe is no longer a neutral stage. It becomes something we can't predict, can't defend against, and maybe can't even understand. On July 1st, 2025, astronomers confirmed 3I Atlas as the third known interstellar object, traveling at 68 kilometers per second. Initial reports assured there was no threat, but by late July, orbit calculations failed to converge and brightness data showed patterns no comet had ever displayed. Peer-reviewed spectra from the James Webb Space Telescope and the Very Large Telescope revealed strong nickel lines without iron, contradicting every known natural model. As of October 2025, no classified briefings or published papers have provided a definitive explanation. Defense protocols worldwide still rely on gravity-only models, exposing a critical vulnerability when faced with unpredictable trajectories. The data leaves one fact clear. Our current understanding of interstellar visitors and our ability to predict them remains incomplete. Until more evidence emerges, 3I Atlas stands as a reminder that the universe can still surprise us and that our best models are only as strong as the data we can explain.